Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Ryan Rice. Before we actually get into the deck drawer system itself, if you guys don't want to hear this, you guys can fast forward. But I want to go over why I end up getting the deck drawer system for the people who follow me all the time and my subscribers. If you guys have been following along, you know I got rid of my enclosed trailer. I've had 16 different kayak trailers and I've hauled my kayak on top of the roof in the bed of my truck. Well, I'm back to the bed of my truck again because of how much it costs me to tow the enclosed trailer with my kayaks and that's why I end up going with the deck drawer system to be able to lock up my gear and that's why I installed the rack recently on my top on top of my truck to be able to take two kayaks with me if needed and just lock them to the bars but we end up going with the deck drawer system because I need a, a place to keep all my gear in it to keep it locked up when I travel to hotels or Airbnbs while I'm on the road this year because I'm gonna be doing a lot of driving that's why we had to go back to the bed of the truck so let's get into the deck drawer system. All I can say is, wow, what a difference. You look at this and you say, oh, what's the difference between the first gen and the second gen? It's a huge, huge difference. First of all, it took me only about an hour and 20 minutes to install this. That's a lot quicker than the first gen. This is my third deck system I've had in numerous different trucks. I've had two of the first, I've had two of the first gens, and now I have the second gen in this truck. With the hole in my kayaks, this is the short bed Chevy. And with hole in my kayak, I was always worried about having a short bed. But with this, there's no problem because I have the T-bone bed extender that's made by Boondocks for the deck system, which kind of you know comes up higher and gives you the difference, that 12 inch difference to be able to haul level. But with this drawer system and with my short bed, I have no problem keeping the kayak in the back of my truck. So one good thing about this, as long as Chevy doesn't change the bed of this truck drastically i can move this to the next vehicle and i'll just get another short bed and i know it works with the kayak the way this whole thing is set up is truly 10 times better and let's go into all the new improvements on generation two. First off the drawers are now pretty much completely squared off before they had a six inch draft so they came down almost like an octagon shaped they went to a 1%. So this basically is almost 100% a square drawer now. We know most of the items out there today are square, your toolboxes, etc. So they squared off the drawers, which gives you about 10% more cargo capacity. And the drawers themselves extend a little bit farther out and you are easily able to reach back here to the back of the drawer, which when we get down in here, I can touch the back of the drawer now without really, really having to like lean in. Before on Gen 1, they had the ammo cans. They pretty much had the same setup, but they're a lot bigger. A little stiff when it's brand new, but you can see they give you these stash bins now. And if you don't want to use the stash bins, you basically have an open deck all the way to the back of your truck, which I don't know if you can see there. So you can stick long items along the side of the drawer here, like, you know, short pieces of conduit or even like a, a short fishing pole if you have a, a longer drawer, a uh, longer bed of a truck itself. But one good thing about these new bins or these new style, I guess you could say ammo cans, which are now stash bins, is that they give you these inserts to drop in and they come with four of these to begin with. I ordered more down the line, which I'll get to in a second. But they give you a deep one and they give you a shallow one. Obviously the shallow one is next to your wheel well because the deep one will hit. But the best thing about these is now they are waterproof. Before your ammo cans, which are now called stash bins, are weren't waterproof before. These 
whatever you stick in these things down in here, they're not going to get wet. And on top of it, this is also lockable, which is awesome. So you can keep things that you want to keep secure in these st new stash bins all the way around in all four corners of the truck itself. And one little cool thing about the plug where the lock goes, that that's a little American flag, which I think is just a cool little touch. But you can see I have four stash bins in all the four corners. And we'll talk about these plugs now and the stash bins. So I ordered four more of the stash bins to do the front. So I'm gonna have stash bins in all four corners of the vehicle. And I'm also gonna lock all these. And I also got the locks for the drawers and I'll tell you why. But being this is such a high demand right now, the extra stash bins and the six locks key to like are basically on back order, but I'll get those within a week or so. So they're coming soon. So I'm excited to have that and I'm excited to have the locks. I also got another one of these Jorganizers, which go in the front. Well, as you can see this room right here, that little bit of room right there is kind of useless without having something in there to keep it organized. So I got another one of these coming. So those three items, the locks, the extra stash bins, and another drawer organizer are on back order, but they are coming soon. But I'm gonna do a separate video when I organize this for my kayak fishing. But the reason why I wanted the locks for these anyway, obviously to keep things secure, but you're saying, well, Ryan, do you a tailgate lock? Yes. But when you're hauling the kayak, obviously your drawers are going to be down. I mean, your tailgate is going to be down all the time. So you need to be able to lock these drawers. And you're saying, oh, those little locks ain't going to hold you. Deck has a video out there of a guy pulling on these drawers. I mean, with all his weight, all his might, he must have done it like 25 times. He could not get these open. Yes, we know today with a pry bar, whatever, you can always get something open. Cordless grinder. But at least you have that added security, or at least that feeling of added security, security when your tailgate's dropped, your kayak's in the back of your truck, and you're, at a and you're at a hotel. But I have good faith in these locks when they do come. Also, with this new version, they give you tie-down points. Let me see if I can do this one hand. Right now it's new and stiff, but they do uh, give you tie-down points, which, which is a metal-to-metal -metal connection. It's basically this turnbuckle that holds your deck system down goes to your tie-down on in the bed of your truck, which this connects to this tie down up here. And what's nice about these tie downs, I think I just tightened this one down too much. They give you a space in here, but you can spin these tie downs around. Let's get another one that's a little loose here. I'll have to loosen it up a little bit, but they give you spacers that you can turn these around really easy in every direction that you need. And they comes with four of these, one in each corner. You don't have to put them on your corners. You can stick them here in the middle but they give you basically a, a screw and a washer to blank them off. You can get four more as an accessory and you can have eight tie downs if you want, or you could keep the tie downs here if you'd like, instead of being in the four corners, whatever you guys want to do. Or like I said, get eight of them. But those are the huge improvements right there is that you have tie downs in the bed of your truck because a lot of times, see, you know, with the Chevy, you have a tie down up high, but a lot of times people lose their tie downs. You know, some of the, the Toyota Tundras and the Chevy has extra like little tracks or tie downs up top but a lot of people used to lose their tie down so that's that was the biggest complaint one of the biggest complaints that's why they had to redesign this and came out with the better version so you know the stash bins that are lockable now and waterproof your tie downs your drawers that are now have a 1% draft and giving you 10% 10, 10 more storage and also having the ability to have full access along the side of your wheel well all the way to the back is your biggest improvements over Gen 1. They also say nothing's changed with payload capacity. You still have a 2,000 pound capacity. Obviously a half ton truck with having the deck drawer stuff system in it and the gear you have in it plus yourself. You don't have 2,000 pounds of capacity anyway, but this is rated for 2,000 pounds. So if you have this in a heavy duty truck, you can put 2,000 pounds in the bed of your truck without having to worry about damaging the deck system itself. And they were saying that this new in-house built recycled plastic platform is actually stronger than Gen 1. You can see, you know, back here that these are tied down, but back in the day with those ammo cans, that's where everything was resting on. So they brought all the weight down on these new like legs they have, which are squared off. Also too, one of the last biggest complaints that people had is that you would get, you know, dust 
airborne particles, that really fluffy snow or a fine mist in your drawers. Now, if you saw during my install, what you can't see now, they have a back plate that goes along the back of the drawers. And they also have a new design here to keep this more, you know, airtight. So you're not gonna get as much dust, as much fine mist or light snow in your drawers. They tell you right off the bat, these things are not tupper, Tupperware tight, but they have improved the dust and water intrusion on these drawers, which is also another big improvement over Gen 1. And I almost forgot, these new toolboxes, you can see what a big difference these are over the first gen. I mean, these things are stout. I mean, they are super strong. I mean, it's unbelievable. But these these two toolboxes, or whatever you want to put in here, and one drawer organizer and two dividers come with the system when you first buy it. But here's the biggest improvement besides being more square and having more capacity, is that you don't have to take these out of the actual drawers. You know, a, a toolbox or anything that you put in this box will get extremely heavy with weight. So a lot of times you don't want to take it out out of the drawer if you don't need to this to grab something small so you can see here you just squeeze and it, and it opens up so you don't have to take it out of your out of your drawer at all and that's a huge improvement obviously it's the same thing it's sealed around the outside edge so anything that you don't want to get wet or can't get wet or you want to protect at a higher level like i said these things are not tupperware tight you stick them inside these tool boxes that they come that come with the deck drawer system you can buy more of these they also have foam inserts if you want to put cordless drills or specialty tools or camera equipment whatever you want they actually sell the uh you know that like the foam you can stick in these boxes to customize it to exactly keep everything tight the way you want it which is very very cool I'll show you the inside of the other little one they give you. It's like a nice little tool tray to give you in it, just like the other one. But I'm not going to go over what I'm keeping in these drawers yet until I actually get the locks on them to keep it locked up. But I'll do a separate video on what, how I'm going to organize this for my kayak fishing adventures and why I really, really love this deck system. You will not be disappointed buying one of these systems. A lot of people don't like losing their bed height, but you can see you still have plenty of height up here to put stuff on top and anything tall you can just strap down even with selling the trailer recently and my complaints about the fuel economy even if i ever go back to another kayak trailer a, you know a kayak trailer not a utility trailer that it barely drops your fuel economy i'm always going to keep the deck drawer system i regretted getting rid of these every time i sold them or changed trucks but this system especially the new system what a huge huge improvement guys so if you guys are interested in one of these, I would definitely go get them. They never have deals on them. Maybe you can get a coupon code from a buddy that's uh, you know an ambassador of deck or whatever, and maybe save you a few bucks, but these are well worth the money. They still have the Gen 1 left, very few, but they do have some Gen 1 left for some certain vehicles. There's nothing really truly wrong with Gen 1, but you know, every time somebody does an improvement on a product, usually it is for the better, and this this system definitely is. Gen 1 still works, but this Gen 2 is a huge, huge difference. And take that from me, who's had them, had numerous ones of them. It's a huge improvement, guys. So that's your major changes for the Gen 2, if you guys are curious. Also, I didn't really sh do a detailed install video. There's so many out there from Deck themselves, from other people online. I just showed you a brief overview in a fast, small clips, how this goes together. It's super, super simple, a lot faster than Gen 1 by a long shot i guess because they took out those ammo cans and more things you had to bolt together before you put it in this is super super simple guys so i will do another video of how i organize this how it's set up for kayak fishing for all the people who watch my channel for kayak fishing and hope you guys like this video i'm going to catch you guys soon so as always be safe on the water and i'll catch you on the water thanks for watching